there's a huge news this week. Huawei is launching a 7 nanometer ARM CPU, 100% made in China, in the Mate 60 Pro. This is my Mate 20 from four years ago. It's the last one that had the Google apps, which makes no sense. Donald Trump and Joe Biden thought it was a good idea to put sanctions on China. It's the bad idea. It never works. It just encourages Huawei to work harder, to make the CPU themselves, to make the GPU design themselves. And this is going to bring more competition to the market. Last month, I was in Shanghai. I filmed all the latest 5.5G satellite connectivity technologies and demos that, that uh, Huawei was showing with the fiber technology, with backbone and all this stuff. So check it out. I'm going to show you the highlights right now. At the end of the video, I'll talk to you more about politics and what I think about Europe using Huawei and competitors on the market to get better technology and cheaper technology to the people. Here we have the X3 Huawei foldable phone, beautiful phone, the best foldable phone in the world, and the Mate 50 Pro Porsche design. Here we are at Mobile World Congress 2023 here in Shanghai. So let's enter the Huawei booth and let's check out some of the latest things they've been talking about. Something that I think is quite exciting is the smart AI and codex and the deployment of the 5G network for people who do live streaming and for people who watch video on the internet. It's a huge challenge to get high quality, at least 1080p experience to everybody. In China, there's a billion people watching live streams and her live stream is being optimized so the highest quality no matter where she is and where she's streaming from TikTok is communicating with the network provider to optimize the 5g connectivity in every region of every city depending on how much usage there is if there's a lot of people watching this is how they downstream they upscale the, the quality uh, so it looks at least like 1080p even if there's thousands and thousands of people watching at the same time, even if there's something very popular and even in the corner of a city, they optimize the, the number of band, uh, base bands to have the best ex uh, experience, 27% more traffic, traffic ex ex is exploding. So this is um, some of the new things they're, they're working on, better video conferencing, video calls, lower latency so you can do cloud gaming and cloud processing on your phone with a low latency and there's a glasses free 3d applications which at least doubles or even much more bandwidth requirement here's some example they're talking about fixed wireless access in some countries is being deployed 5g to get faster internet to people's homes like in finland and saudi arabia the network companies are getting 30-40% more revenue per user by doing that. So they can expand the network not only for mobile phones but also for internet in the home. In China and Thailand, also 10-15% more revenue per user. So this is here the entrance. Let's check out some more. Like Nogi here. And Nogi here. And it's over 5G. Now it's on the cloud. Yeah. This is a cloud phone. Yeah. This is on cloud phone. So on the cloud phone, you can see the same screen, the same environment like the physical phone. You can see this one is a physical phone. Physical phone, when we install one uh, game application, is more than 20, 20 gigabytes. It's yeah. a big one. So you install here, when you play, you say that reaction is very slow. Slow, yeah. okay? It's slow. And this okay. one is uh, on the cloud. Yeah. Okay, we install this the same game on the cloud phone. So you can see the reaction is very quick. It's very quick. Zero GB. Yeah. So like a real time experience. It's like you have a big computer, a big cloud computer. Yeah, for yeah, because it uses a cloud computing. Alright. It's hard to do. And this one a little uh, latency. Huh? Nice. Now oh, here is the application store, right? I can download. Uh, sorry, this is one in Chinese. I can I can download the one B, two GB two GB uh, game, right? You can see the time. What? It's around the uh, ten seconds. Very it's, quick. Just like a dream. Yeah. We directly quick, on the cloud. Very quick. Yeah. Now it's insta installing. All right. So here we checking out the new calling system. It's like the successor to the SMS advanced messaging system, next level. So right here, 
if I call a restaurant, right, it's going to pop up with an AI and she's going to start talking to me directly. I don't need to wait for them to answer. And she's going to start saying, why don't you go down here and choose the, what you need on the menu? This, this is the calling app, the regular calling app for every, potentially for every phone, for every carrier. There'll be just like integrated advanced features in the calling app. You can start uh, choosing what you want to eat and she can keep talking. Maybe I will ask her, can you recommend something? I'm a vegetarian. Or, and she will keep talking to you while you going around on the, on the menu system here. I just need to go back. Uh, let's, let's go here. Or uh, another thing that's also gonna happen is let's say I'm on China Mobile and I don't know how much credit is left on my phone. So when I call them, I don't need to wait directly. There will be these functions here that will say, you have this left on your account. And this will be compatible with potentially with every carrier. And it will say how much, how many minutes you have left, you know? And it just shows up as a default on the calling app, potentially on every phone, helping you to pay for your service. And this could be the same for your internet provider, for your phone provider, for your, and you need to pay taxes with the commune, when you need to, whatever bills you have to pay, potentially, you just, need, you just need to know their phone number. You start calling and they can have all this happen before they need to actually spend time to answer you. You can, you can resolve everything in the system right here. And then there's also these functions where you can call other people and directly when you call them, you on speakerphone, you can have an animation that can be customized. This is TikTok making this one. So when I speak on this, it's doing like, uh, subtitles for um, it's translating in real time so you could be having a conversation for example I, I called a taxi earlier I had no idea what he was saying but with this I would be able to see in real time what he's saying translated to English and this could this doesn't have to be a Huawei solution it could be Microsoft Google uh, Baidu any translation API just connects into here and you have real-time translation I don't know maybe in potentially in the future I'll even translate my voice into Chinese. So suddenly I speak Chinese and uh, you know, that, that's maybe potentially. And then when you go to the video, there is a built-in video on the calling app. No need to stop the call, get out, get back in. It's just gonna be right there. You just continue, you switch directly to video. It's something you see also when you're on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger and WeChat and everything. But this is gonna be built into the basic calling app and then there's uh, I think there was another function also where you could uh, uh, I forgot exactly where it is but where you can draw on the screen if you're helping your mother to use the computer you can be saying hey you should do that it's right there it's like a collaboration function all right so this is the future of calling it works best on 5g but it also works on 4g and whatever but with 5g it's gonna be faster more responsive lower latency more instant it's really going to be interesting to have AI uh, smart assistants. When you call to all these different things, and maybe there's going to be people developing better and better AIs that every restaurant can use, every shop can use, every, you know, every business will be able to use these AI responders. And then if you just tell the AI, I would like to speak with a real person, that potentially could happen also. So welcome to the Charbax TV news show and where all the news is just positive there's no problems in the world there's only solutions and I'm going to show you the latest news all day on TikTok is live streaming I'm standing here yeah. with the so here's our virtual live streaming booth as you can see we use a very normal com camera here to help you to drive your uh, digital avatar or your, your digital human there okay. and then we can uh, also in this virtual 3d scenarios right you can see and we can also push this stream to some uh, pub, pub, uh, public uh, nice. live streaming platforms such as TikTok, YouTube and then you will become an uh, anchor <laughs> this here we show the FTTR version 3 we can spot 20 milliseconds Ah, super low latency. Yeah. So there, there it is. Uh, extreme speed. People go to two gigabit, for example. It could be more. 
20 milliseconds uh, ultimate coverage large concurrency so mean for the carrier they can sell more wow. before they can just can sell this one and right now they can sell this one every room there's many things about uh, fiber it's not only a question of uh, bandwidth it's also latency that's a big deal yeah. because if you if you if you do cloud storage cloud computing of AI course. you want a quick answer of course you know there is so many you know the, the, the human activity right most in the room and like you said you want to upload some information to the cloud and download some cloud you want the band wire you want the maintaining right so this is the best solution and, uh, and this also, is those dream device uh, in the future it can have like a, a, right there is a fiber like fiber goes see. to this this is all FTTR version 3 the CPE and you can see this is interface right and this is the fiber interface this is upping and with this one it also can uh, uh, cascade the other one mean also can support other interface all right so then it goes to uh, gigabit yes uh, to, and this to, uh, is the equipment right and also the fiber this is the fiber you can see this is on the wall you can see the fiber here oh it's there oh wow it looks like some glue a little bit in the corner wow and with this one you can very easy to deploy this fiber and that's amazing yes in china you know one person one engineer one all can finish installation for one room right now this for this version we can support two giga and in early of next year how will you release the new version 10 10 gb yeah you can imagine okay yeah. 20 no Okay, we'll see. We will see. Yeah. P O F mean power over fiber. Really? Yeah, we call it a hybrid cable. You can see here. Actually, inside there's two in one, and for this one, we can provide the power, and this one is the fiber. Wow. Mean you deploy the one cable, can support the traffic and also the power. In just one year. This is, we are jumping 30 million more people. Yeah, this is on the getting information from Omnibir. You can oh. see, in 2021, for the gigabit, the user, only... 37. Yeah, 37. Wow, this is, so it's really like quadruple, quadruple in just two years. Yes. It's really fast uh, growth. And uh, 450 gigabit carriers in the world. Wow. And you work with all of them. <laughs> with most of them, right? And all tech evolved to 10G pond in gigabit area. Yes. So in the future, it will just be more and more speed for everybody because the demand will continue. Hi, I'm Frank. Actually, uh, I'm coming from the, the Huawei transmission uh, part. So in this booth, is the, we, wa we want to introduce to you for this uh, transmission network. For 800 transmission, gigabit. Yeah, 800 G because you can see this transmission like the T shape. Why we use this architecture? For example, in the backbone part, we right now the traffic is data centric, from the east to the west, and also from the north to south. We call the metro WDM. This is a traditional traffic. So how to reach the the biggest capacity and the biggest switching longer distance? This is the key for the transmission backbone. And for the metro, we need to sharing architectures. So. In this time, I bring to you these two architectures or two technologies to introduce the Huawei, the new technologies. Is this the fastest backbone in technology yeah. in the world? Yeah, for example, 400G and 800G. Right now, we already reached the longest the distance test in the China Chinese mobile. And also, this is unique in the China, Huawei. We use the optical switching. You can see this one. It's like an A4 size. A4 this is real. This is real. It's the, our equipment. It's printed yeah, electronics, print, roll to roll. Print the fiber cores. You this, print it. Uh, yeah, printed. So compared with the, the backbone in the core side, traditionally you have so many fiber cores. But if we printed this one, we will save a lot of space in here. And also for the sharing architecture, is the same. We can come to here to see. 
traditional each wing, each WDM site. We have each wing, we have unified the, the dedicated ring, dedicated site in here. And uh, so, but uh, for the last mile, the traffic is not so huge. Usually this have the 40 lambda system, 40 wavelength system, but uh, this one only in the last mile, only a few wavelengths to, to, to use. That's why in the traditional way, build WDM, they will waste the, have a lot of pressures for the aggregation side. But for the new technologies, we use the, we call the Bread OXC Pro. This one is the pooling architecture. Use the same rings, but we only use the one rack, one car. So one car, four line rings, right? One so car. One car is this car. Actually, we, were, we have the rear car in here. Is this card? This card? Yeah, you can see this card. I have the light ports. Each port supports each directions. So they are sharing architectures. In this case, you are saving a lot of the resource in this uh, aggregation layer. From the aggregation side, you only have need one drag. So you save a lot of space here. And also, we have this uh, automatic. Uh, you can see this is the key components of we call the 3D air course. Liquid crystal on silicon. You can see here. Traditional way, you have only one one inside and a different outside. With this one to reflect, right? To reflect to, to adjustment the different directions. But for this, we call it 3D. Different uh, the the fields inside in here. So that's why we like a different plane with the different input and different output. So not only one by n, this m by n. So this one is the new technologies to evolution. Based on these evolutions, we can do the sharing architectures. Save a lot of the space, power consumption. For sure, the cost also save me a lot. Same performance? Same, same, same performance. Same, same bandwidth? Same bandwidth. But Liquid crystal. Liquid crystal. It's like a LCD. Uh, it's but similar. It's similar. The it's similar. But the LCD, the, the LCD, the other one is for the display. This one is for different direction to switching. Switch the direction. Switch the direction. And uh, this is... Uh, 100 to 400 G this, this one is for this, we call this ring. In the beginning, you can see in here, we have the different uh, right, traffic. From the 4G to 5G, we have 25G the traffic in the access side, 60G in the home core band, and also the for this enterprise, right? We have almost 100G. That's why in the day one or day zero, we, we have this uh, 100G in the small boxes. And in the next, uh, for example, two or three years, we call the 400G evolution, right? 80% lower power consumption. Yeah. 90% low, lower footprint. Footprint, yeah. This is compared What's the with... footprint? Footprint right now is light chassis. For example, you have yeah. light chassis, light car. But right, right now, it's one. only one. One car. That's why we save the space. But this we is just, already uh, deployed or is yeah, the future? Yes, uh, this is already deployment. We already released this product to the, on this March, MWC Barcelona. So right now, the, we have this more applications, right? We have more than uh, 15 the, the commercial use and 30 POCs. And, and uh, so this is a... Uh, no, this is the backbone from the backbone, backbone part. Yeah, backbone part. Backbone part. Before I introduced for this one is yeah. the from sharing architecture is the metro. And this is a new way of doing things. This one is actually it's not a new way, but it's a uni unique right unique now. Way unique way. Unique way, right. Because this one we developed two years, three years ago. And the way we deployment a lot of the uh, sites on the world, okay? So what do we see here? This is the WSS. This is like uh, the use the different, uh, you have different uh, location. You use this component to switching. From direction A to direction B to direction C with this uh, component. It looks like a, a prism. Yeah, this one it's is... Actually how you design it inside? This here. one, air course. So like uh, you can see, it's like this one. You have air course inside. You use the you use the, the voltage control control this liquid crystal and this liquid crystal like a mirror. Use different angle to to do the the optical switching. So wow. this one is the C band and A band. Right now the Huawei we unified the you can say the traditional way C band A band is different lengths to alignment. Right now we call the measurements. For this technologies, you can see on, on inside, we have different corner, use different face, right? So this one to totally replace the lens. With this one, you can switch in with the more capacity and the switching and the low fuel components. Based on this one, you can double capacity, small cap uh, No more lens. Right now it's not, because other lens we already filmed in, in this lens. 
Nice. That's why. That's why in this one we have the new technologies and the, to do we call the integrate integrated WSS. Industry first. Yeah, yeah. This is integrated together. And what do we see first. here? This one is the, for the different band. Transmission. Transmission is very like a, like a, the wireless, right? We have different spectrum, spectrum, and uh, to do the, to the support of the capacity. For for this one, for example, this one is the C band and the air band. C band is the traditional band. So new new one is the air band. So Huawei dope the different uh, materials inside this uh, fiber in the uh, air air band dope the fiber. For this one, we can enlarge the not only C band, also to the air band. With this type of this, uh, we can double the fiber capacity. And this one is the module, like the engine. We like 400G, 800G use this module to do transmission, very long distance. We can reach the 6,000 kilometers in this moment. 6,000 kilometers? Yeah, without the regeneration, without the uh, electrical regeneration with this one. That's crazy. That's it. X2B. New Blue Ocean solution. Uh, so X2B means multiple tech connectivity, multiple application, multiple solutions for the business. So it's 5G, fiber, Wi-Fi, IoT. There's a new way to manage this on the campus, over on the wireless network, uh, on the on the network from the from the carrier also, to make better connectivity uh, throughout, and uh, some cloud services also. And by doing that, the carriers are making more money here. OK, so let's go around. And here's how they improve reliability. You know, uh, enterprises have fiber, potentially. But now they can add 5G as like a backup uh, solution to have more reliable, always on connectivity. Uh, they can also uh, use a smart rotor that automatically routes the different data packets based on how important is to have low latency or higher bandwidth, for example. And this also works with the 5G. And then also over here, this is quite interesting. Let's say you open a new branch, a new office. In less than a day, by using a kit that could look like this, you get connected to the, fi to the 5G. So then you can get fi very fast time to market. Less than a day. Sometimes people would spend weeks and months to get proper connection. You can just start directly, and maybe a little bit later you get your fiber, you can add that after. So it's a quick deployment, quick startups, little companies, offices opening, you just go, you have the full solution, you get this thing, and it just happens. And um, so the equipment, all from one place, management all from one place, service, it's just easy, easy to expand and scale. And this screen, as far as I understand, you know, you, it's the whole idea of the carriers not being dumb pipes anymore. They don't just provide the internet. They are being smarter in the way they connect people and the way they do the data and the operations for all the different uh, functionalities and get the cloud services as part of their solution, as part of their product. So they become bigger than just a provider of of data connection, connection. So this is how they talk about it. CSP, they become a digital service provider and just a carrier. So it's become more smarter connectivity, converged data and intelligence, and they become an ICT company with more and more stuff. So this is what they're talking, all in one turnkey kind of solution. It's like a summary a little bit of what Huawei is trying to do, convince all the carriers to become more and a bigger business. And this part here, they're talking about this product that is the industry first, 5G plus Wi-Fi plus IoT interference free algorithm that works in this, um, this solution right here. I think it's kind of like a one box, right? And inside this box is the, the Wi-Fi and IoT solution with the 5G, and it's using an algorithm to not interfere when you do stuff like Bluetooth, Zigbee, RFID, uh, and this antenna right here. It's not. It's going to keep a decent signal at the hospital. So you want to have all these little health devices still work, and automatically they can switch 
from the 2.4 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz to, to be more reliable. Uh, and this, this could be a hospital one where the doctor is here and they can switch all the data out to the ambulance of our, uh, uh, with the privacy and the data and security. So the patient is sharing the data to the hospital number two as they travel from one to the other. So it's four in one, 5G, Wi-Fi, fiber, IoT, all is managed as a converge, uh, converged uh, new campus network solution with the smarter devices, smarter algorithm, and a smarter management of the spectrum inside the building. All right, so, so this is kind of like a kit for the small and medium business and it's a one-stop shop. So you know when the small and medium business need to buy access to the internet, there's all these different providers, it's difficult to figure out what they need. But here there's knowledge in terms of what exactly are the devices that they need so they can connect all the different networks and the different rooms based on their scale. And it's, it's basically like, you know, one-stop. You have the full solution, you can do the Wi-Fi, gigabit broadband, cloud services, security, and everything is provided as a one-stop, one including the service, the online shop, QR code to just order stuff, and the application to do the support after. And Huawei is providing all this to the carrier to make it even more easy. And there's sort of stuff here with a fiber, fiber to the room. You have the full, full solution. It's basically you get a box, boom, you get fiber or stuff right here also, some routing uh, and uh, this kind of device also with the Wi-Fi hotspots, mesh networking and everything. This one is actually the newest uh, digital album. So what you can see here is a device that uh, transfer from 2D signal to 3D. So uh, you can upload your photo by 2D. 2D photograph and then it can automatically transfer to a 3D. The resolution is around 2K. 2K and uh, maybe there's like 16 fields, right? It's like a light field display? Yes, yes, correct. All right, and what do we see here? This one is actually the uh, three-dimensional display pad. It's already commercialized in the market and it's a 2K display resolution. 2K, nice. So this is a, it's pretty much like a tablet. Yes. That's it. Wow. And the cost cool. for this tablet is not very high. It's very affordable in the market. It's flying all over us in this historical U garden with those uh, beautiful buildings around here. And it's an AR. And it's helping me maybe go around here to find the best restaurant because I'm a hungry. So I will look for the AR experience. Uh, it's gonna be powered by 5G and everything in the future. And it just downloads when you WeChat. You download it here, you can follow the whale. I'm a little bit of whale, you know, so I, I like following the whale. And the whale tells me, maybe I should consider this restaurant or uh, some of these things that happen here during the and uh, then we can just c continue walking around in AR, you know. But so imagine in the future, as a tourist coming the first time to some place, you could be experiencing it in a with an AR glass that will guide you around. Where is the best restaurant? Where is the cheapest restaurant? Where is the cheapest? Um, where is the bathroom? Where is the cheapest uh, hotel? Maybe this is my hotel right there. I don't know. But you could, you could figure it out maybe in the future in AR. So now you've seen all these latest demos that Huawei was showing at the Mobile World Congress. I think European countries should have open competition for their technology. Carriers should be open to choose between Huawei, Chinese technology, or American technology, or European technology. It depends who's making the better quality, who's making the more advanced features, who's providing the best price. They said there was national security concerns. I don't believe it. It's just because they want to remove a competitor. They think 5G is the next huge trillion dollar market, which it is. That's why 
consumers should have choice of lower cost technology to have lower cost carriers. When they use internet, it should be lower cost. It should be better quality. It should be faster. And that's bringing all the companies in the society to more possibilities in the future. There's no need to limit competition. I think it makes no sense. You can talk about, uh, if you're afraid of uh, national security things, you can ask to check the source code, go and look at the details. You can have all kinds of conditions when you negotiate. There's no need to say that this doesn't work. The, the, the truth, what you can see in the video, is that they have more advanced technology. They have lower prices. They bring more innovation in the, all aspects of the industry. So that's what I think. I think there should be more of this. So check it out. In the future, I'll try to make more and more videos about all the latest technology from China. Check it out.